Welcome everyone to Zahid's Data Mining channel once again. My name is Zahid Islam and today I will be discussing about um, the data mining uh, on smartphones. So smartphones are um, very smart these days and these smartphones are uh, many of them uh, generally have eight core processors, two gigabyte RAM, etc. So, which is uh, amazing. And only a few years ago, uh, only uh, this could be a dream even for uh, good laptops. So, these smartphones are really very capable. And we are using these smartphones these days for many, many applications throughout our, throughout the days, uh, throughout our. Uh, daily activities for example we check Facebooks we check Twitters uh, we use messengers we uh, uh, use it for uh, email checking and web browsing and for games of course so we do it we use it for various reasons but being a data miner one question I was thinking is was um, that whether we are using it enough for data mining now generally people use mobile phones smartphones uh, there are some research um, on uh, the uses of smartphones for generally data collection and then the collected data are sent to the central server where the data mining actually happens and maybe sometime the response comes back to the smartphone but whether it is possible or not uh, to do the data mining on phone on smartphone the advantage of that could be uh, more flexibility so you you do not you are not restricted to your office or to your laptop or you can actually use your smartphones for various data mining tasks I mean maybe not at the at a ex extreme serious level but you can use your time better another advantage is if you are collecting data for yourself and then mining that data your data does not need to be sent to the central server if you can uh, mine it on phone and that way maybe your privacy can be maintained better so we actually used uh, we actually proposed a uh, mobile app smartphone app Android app called mindful that can actually collect data about a person user and then actually mine that data to assess his mental health condition and can give him suggestions or feedback so here is an example that your collected data you can mine it on your phone and you do not need to send it to the central server so complete um, preservation of privacy now before I talk about that maybe I may give you the his, uh, history a little bit few years ago maybe a couple of years ago we were thinking that whether we could use uh, mobile phone for better uh, data mining so we could use mobile phone for data mining what would be the uh, impact of that what will be the accuracy of data mining what will be the time uh, complexity or how long it will take what will be the impact on battery life temperature of the phone etc so we actually published a paper uh, in uh, OSDM uh, in 2018 and um, with the paper was on implementation of performance analysis of data mining you can find that paper uh, from my web page uh, let's let's go to the web page and see so if you type my name is Zahid Islam right so if you type Zahid Islam and then you should get my web link that's my web page Zahid Islam and then you can go to my publications and search for this paper control F implementation so that's the paper you can see this paper implementation of performance analysis of data mining algorithm uh, published in OSDM 2018 you can also find the free downloadable version of the paper preprint version of the paper directly here and you can read the paper here I will show you the paper actual the actual paper here and you can actually get the full version of the paper online freely but um, let's say um, uh, possibly this is the one so here is that paper uh, in this simple paper we actually uh, used uh, 20 different classification algorithms and uh, <coughs> nine different data sets and the classifications algorithms were implemented on smartphone uh, phones actually and to see uh, 
what is the accuracy etc and uh, we found that the accuracy remains same as any other laptop uh, uh, classification etc if you run the la classification on laptop or desktop that's what you can you would expect anyway because it's the same classification algorithm but interestingly the time is also uh, uh, time requirement is also very uh, uh, reasonable so here is an example you can see this uh, uh, figure on the left that this is the uh, laptop time requirement so if you want to complete all the algorithms um, for all the data sets the full sets of algorithms and data sets so 20 algorithms 9 data sets 180 different run and if you want to complete all of them it generally takes something something around six seconds whereas on a motorola moto g5 uh, smartphone it takes around uh, 50 seconds so it's quite uh, reasonable in terms of time requirement and classification algorithm there are we use 20 different classification algorithms so we rank them in order to in order to their accuracy in order of their accuracy uh, and we can see that some classification algorithm it takes very small amount of time with high accuracy say for example here you can see four so there are you can choose your algorithm wisely uh, to run it on smartphone and you can get very high accuracy with very little time remember this uh, time that we um, showed here uh, is the is the impact of all classification algorithms so some classification algorithms can be more useful <clears throat> now we also um, compared the uh, temperature so differential temperature gain in degree celsius um, over minutes of run of the data mining algorithms and we found this really sensible reasonable after we found this, that the smartphones are actually capable of running data mining on smartphones, we thought there, there is possibly a lack of um, uh, data mining tools for smartphones, freely available data mining tools. For example, Weka is freely available for data mining, Orange is freely available for data mining, but they are on laptops. So can you actually have develop a data mining tool for smartphones? And then we actually developed a data mining tool for smartphones called Data Learner, and we made it freely available in um, our GitHub accounts and also in Google Play. You can access the paper on my web page again uh, if you type data learner. If you type data learner on the search box, uh, remember data learner, data and learner together, then it will take you to the paper and the preprint version is freely available. Then it, there is a short YouTube video as well that is very, uh, maybe two minutes or one minute, etc. And uh, nice video to explain this uh, tool and the app available in Google Play. You can freely download it and there is a source code as well freely available. So if you pre uh, click on that uh, preprint, you will see the preprint version of the paper and we will possibly show you the paper here so here is that paper and this is data learner is a very simple three-step process after you install data learner on your smartphone it's uh, just upload your data set any data set you can upload uh, in the in the right format and then you can run the data learner choose a classifier so which what which classifier you want uh, there there is a big number of classification algorithms and association rule mining and clustering algorithms about 40 40 different algorithms already in, uh, implemented in the data learner you can choose any one of them uh, depending on what you want to do and then you just run it once you run it then you can see uh, the result data mining result if it is a tree then you can see the tree building uh, process uh, the build tree and then you also see the uh, evaluation uh, accuracy false positive true positive etc so at that stage we thought okay mobile phones are capable smartphones are capable of running data mining algorithms and we have now a full-on data mining tool on smartphone can we really use it for some practical purpose so here is an example the name of this paper and you can find the paper from my web page as as usual um, and the name of the paper is readiness of smartphones for data collection and data mining with an example application in mental health so we use the phone and it has lots of sensors as well so we used the sensors of the smartphones to monitor the activities of a user 
and then initially the user will be asked also some questions phq9 questions to uh, that that can be used to assess his mental health condition so from from this data collection and the survey questions every day gradually the smartphones will develop a uh, data set uh, with the labeling of mental health condition and then it mines the data set and it finds individual specific patterns uh, so what i mean is patterns for a particular individual um, of his mental health condition so what he generally does on a day when his mental mental health condition is very good on a moderate mental health condition and on a low mental health condition so what are the pattern of daily activities and from that after a while after a few days maybe you do not need to um, um, respond to the survey questions anymore your smartphone will automatically now know your mental health condition um, given that it continues collecting the other data your um, users data your daily activities your movement your uh, patterns of uh, uh, uses of phones etc so from these data using the sensors it can then matching it can then match your pattern of good mental health and bad mental health and it can then predict your mental mental health condition uh, look this is just an initial experiment initial uh, lab uh, experimentation and we are not sure about whether this will work in real life or not but the results early results are promising and we have actually pro presented those results uh, in this uh, in this paper the paper presents how the collected data through the sensors are pre-processed to create the data set and then uh, also it presents the interface of this of the of the tool um, what 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 sort of um, uh, user interfaces we have in this tool and then it also uh, shows uh, us the data preparation uh, data creation uh, process so that it can be reproduced the experimental results um, look in this paper the, the data set we used are not real life data sets so they are synthetic data sets it is just a demonstration that a smartphone mobile uh, a smartphone uh, with data mining capacity can be used for data collection analysis and then future prediction so and it looks like that that demonstration is uh, properly done uh, but again before i finish i have to say that please do not misunderstand this is not a uh, a confirmation that it can be used for uh, uh, mental health condition detection but uh, the early signs are all good uh, in term from the technology point of view smartphones are ready to do that thank you for watching